Hi everyone, this is Linda with BuildOnlineBusinessesNow.com. A few weeks ago I had a little problem with my blog and it seemed that somebody was trying to hack into it. Um, I recently made a post and a video about how I solved it, but I wanted to let you know about a new plugin that I found uh, that can actually prevent people from trying to log into your blog. So when someone tries to log into your blog here, They'll, they'll have so many times that you set into the plugin um, before they get locked out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to find that plugin and how to install it. It's installed the same way any other plugin is installed. So we're going to go to plugins, add new, and it's called limit login attempts. It's going to be the first one you, you find. You're going to click Install Now. And we have to activate it. And then we're going to go to Settings. And oops, click on that. And before we go through this, I just want to show you that my blog was actually, um, someone tried to log into it. So. Um, here's the settings for my blog and I actually checked last week and there was nothing but look since then there has been one lockout so um, they have four tries before they get locked out and then they have 24 hours until they're they can come back and try again or you can change it you can make it longer or you can make it so there's only two retries but you have to re remember that if you happen to forget your own username or password you'll get locked out too so <laughs> be careful about that um, but when you see that someone has been locked out you can scroll down here and get their IP address here now I went ahead and looked that up and it seems they, fr they are from Russia so um, you can actually go ahead and block this IP address if you wanted to but um, I'm not sure it's really necessary but um, I can show you how to do that real quick. I wasn't planning on doing that in this video. Um, so anyway, let's go back over here and the default settings you can keep. Um, I actually changed this to 30 and this one 24 sounds good. You can make it longer. It doesn't really matter. And then I would like to get an email if someone has been trying to hack into my account. So change the options and then that's all there is to it. Um, if you want to go ahead and go back to find out, you know, if somebody has logged in, you're just going to go back to settings, click on the limit login attempts, and then you'll find this out. Now, I've had mine installed for a couple weeks now, and like I said, um, since last week, when I last checked, there has been one. So, um, it actually does work, and um, so I just want to give you that little tip. I'm sure most of you don't probably don't know about it but I also want to let you know where I found out about it it's called lock your blog and this is a guide made by a guy named Alex um, he has a free video guide there's like 12 or 15 videos I forget how many there are right now but it's free okay it's actually absolutely free he gives you a bunch of other different tricks that you can use to help protect your blog from uh, hackers and such so I highly suggest that you go ahead and take a look at this. I'll leave the link below the video. It is an affiliate link, but like I said, it is free. And the only thing you would have to pay for is if you were going to install a new blog. And he has a one that has security features already built in. And there might be something else in there that you could pay for. But like I said, the good stuff is actually really free. So um, it's up to you if, if you want to upgrade or not. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I want to get over into my hosting account, and then I'm going to show you how you can actually block an IP address if you want to, okay? Okay, so I'm getting ready here to show you how to block an IP address 
within your control panel, okay? So all you want to do is just highlight the IP address, control C to copy, and then we're going to go over here to our control panel and you're going to look under security. You're going to click IP Deny Manager, and then you're going to control V to paste the IP address, and then you just click Add, okay? And then that way anybody um, from this IP address will not be able to access your log. So anyway, that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you found my video of use. And um, even though this is my last video for Barry Wells Video Challenge, I do plan on making more videos um, for my blog posts and such. So um, I'll talk to you later, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.